going everybody? Welcome to ADV with Roscoe. So today we're doing something a little different. We're gonna go pick up my buddy Jer and we're gonna go uh, find a spot to cook some food. Um, I don't know if we're gonna go in the woods, if we're gonna go down by the beach, but uh, we just thought it'd be fun to get together and cook two different things. I don't know what Jer's making, Jer doesn't know what I'm making, and we're just gonna get together, cook some food over fire. Hope you guys enjoy it. We'll see what we make. Hey, bud. All right, everybody, this is my friend, Jer. He's uh, he's our guest chef for the day, and I'm gonna give him the option. Jer, which hat do you want? You want one with the uh, colorful American flag? Oh, is it? Uh, or the black and white American it? flag? It? It's, 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 your fingers are covering yeah. it. Hey, you know, I think I'd go for uh, the black and white one. Okay. It's not really white. Oh, or but... black and, there you go. I think so, because this is, Oh, that's, that's, that's kind of That's not a bad hat. That's not bad. Well, what do you think? Yeah. Well, apparently, he doesn't like it. All right, let's go cook some food. Let's do it. You made this. My sister-in-law made this. This is lavender mead. It's been sitting for a while. You ready for this? It's not hoppy because there's no hops. Okay. So Jer's sister-in-law made lavender mead. Lavender mead. So what is is mead made with honey? Uh, yes. Can you tell us a little bit about what mead is? Um, yeah. It's made out of honey, Chuck. <laughs> okay. Uh, put the yeast in there, it eats up all the sugars and produces the alcohol content. This particular honey was from her bees. Okay. Her bees honey, put lavender in a, they tie it up, drop it in there as with the mash. Okay? It's all been strained out. And how, what vintage is this, what year? Um, I believe it was last year. It smells good. It smells good. By the way, we're gonna turn the camera on, but there's seals. There's one right there. Like that's probably oh, 30 that's right feet there. off the beach. Yeah. It's winking at us right now. Oh hey, god. <coughs> it's probably jumping <coughs> out Bob over there. It's probably gonna eat Bob. That's something, isn't it? Ooh. That tastes really good. And I love honey, and I can really taste the honey in that. You know, you gotta sneeze again. Mm. <coughs> you know what's off, but it's that the taste of the aluminum in them. You want aluminum? Do you want to switch to the taste of the silicone? Because that silicone cuts. <laughs> no, I think I'll, I'll stick with the battery acid. Yeah. All right. Better. Thank you to your sister in law. Okay, so, Jerry, what are you cooking? Um, it's like a. it's. Have you ever, you ever have a hankering for a sandwich? All the time. And uh, not have any bread? Quite often, because I don't have a lot of bread. Bags. Right, so this is, uh, we, we make it all in the pan. And make so you get, a, you get the, the bread, you put everything in, in the sandwich that you want, and you cook it all so you have a nice hot sandwich. So it's kind of like toasting your bread and cooking the sandwich, everything at the same time. But not like a tuna Yeah, but we're actually like make it the making the bread. It's a flat bread. Uh, like a pita, but it's not like from the store and dried and hard. All right, gross. You know what I mean? Yep. I want to try this. All right, I'm going to make my Russian mushroom soup. Russian? I said Russian. Are the, are the mushrooms Russian? Or is no, the but the lady Russian? who taught me how to make it was Russian. Oh, okay. So we're going to go with that. And okay. um, you can deal with that. Usually, or at least the first time I made it was with wild mushrooms. We don't have any. We're going to do store bought mushrooms. Source wildly. I'm 
sure. Yes, they were wildly sourced. I just wildly <laughs> go to Safeway and get them. And I've been to that Safeway. It is pretty wild. It could get shot. <laughs> you know, that's where I should have done it, like downtown Portland Safeway, because then it would have been it, wild. It could have been. <laughs> yeah, you had been fighting some homeless guy for the mushrooms. Okay, for my creation of mushroom soup, I've got to chop up some mushrooms, some potatoes, some carrots, add the rice, add the water, and bring it to a boil and just let it simmer for a couple hours. So here we go. So we're making, it looks like a, like a BLT kind of a salad, right? Uh, yeah. All right, there's all these Pretty ingredients. Looks like cheese and flour. This is a, a bread flour. Bread flour. Bread flour. So on something like this, do you need yeast? Or is there yeast in it? No, there's no yeast in it. We don't need yeast. We're actually going to be using baking powder to help get a lift. Okay. This might not be, a, I've never measured anything. Oh, wow. Really? You might have a new favorite YouTube guy, might be the guy that measures. I, you know, we do heaping tablespoons for flour, we do level teaspoons for uh, uh, powder. We do quite a bit of salt, because this is a savory sandwich. Right? A, a savory sandwich. Right. Um, fresh fresh granule and salt? Uh, I don't think it's going to matter one way or another. Do you? Probably, Probably not. not. Probably not. Because that one tastes like iodine. Yeah, it, it, it's iodinized, yeah. yeah. Now, what we're first thing we're going to do, actually, this is not the first thing, but usually the first thing we do is go ahead and drop the butter right in the pan and start heating this puppy up. All right. Pan on the fire, getting warm. This is sour cream. Sour cream going in. You don't need it, but it adds a little depth to flavor. Hey, by the way, we've got sour cream for our soup too here. So it's gonna be a double sour cream meal. Water in. Now, if you want something thicker than a this way too thick. Okay, way too thick. Falls off the spoon. That's thicker than a pancake. That's what you want. I see there's still lumps in there. Do you want to? The, you know, the, the, the lumps are sour cream. Okay, so that's okay. Yep. It's gonna be fine. Alright. You want the glove? That just sizzle sounds fantastic.
damn it already looks good all right we're gonna take the opportunity to uh no oh, look at that we got some ash in there already probably stay back i think the ash adds something to it adds a little flavor it might I'm gonna get over here so I don't get dripped off. Oh, he had me at cheese. You know, and you know, this isn't like uh, that pre-shredded crap. Oh, you shredded this yourself? Yeah, you, you got to, because I, I just don't like having the coating. That powder, yes. Yeah. The, you gotta clean the cheese grater. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you do. You do. And it's true. Oh, I've I've never actually done this over a fire, but <coughs> hmm. Yeah, that's that's the beauty of cooking over the fire. This this smoke in the face. Yeah, I get it. I see. This, this just too. looks fantastic. How's that look at it? Just take a oh, that looks golden brown right there, right? I think we wanna... Once we turn that, I'm going to go get us a plate. Hmm. I can tell. So what made you think of cooking this, Jerry? It's probably my wife's favorite thing I make. Really? Mm-hmm. She says it's like a savory pancake. Hmm. Which might be. It actually looks kind of fun. It's it's pretty fun. And it, it, could you make this on, you know, the scottle? I doubt it. Oh. It needs to be flat and level. It's pretty thick, though. You think it would go down to the middle? I don't know, but that's where your butter's going to go. And you need that butter to coat to get this... Uh, right there. Right there. Okay. I think we got a challenge on the scottle here, but uh, all right. Now you can see it's it's got the dough's not quite cooked on the side. That's fine because we're putting it right back in to cook that up, and it's gonna seal all that stuff up in there. All right. I'm gonna get some plates. All right, everybody. So I'm editing. And I realize the camera wasn't running uh, when we ate the sandwich. And I'm going to show you the moment that I picked up the camera to turn it off and actually turn it on. And my face says it all. So the sandwich was great. It was delicious. The bacon, the tomato, the cheese, the bread. It was a fantastic sandwich. So uh, I recommend trying it. It was super easy. You can pre-mix the ingredients like Jared did. Um, before you get out there, just add the water, the sour cream. Anyways, sorry about that, guys. Uh, it's it's part of the game, I guess. I didn't get the shot, but I'm going to continue on because the sandwich was great. All right, let's get back to the video, but it was a great sandwich. Okay. But you're going to love this soup. This is a amazing right soup. What, what's it called again? I call it Russian mushroom soup because this nice Russian lady named Anna, Anna, showed me how to make it. So you didn't put the uh, sour cream down first? No. We need some broth here. We might, have, we might have evaporated a lot of water out of this one. Okay. Take this. Got this. Take your spoon. My spoon. Put a little dollop of sour cream right on there. Stir that in there. Tell me what you think. Okay. All right, look at that soup. Not you, Bob. How is it? It's really good. You can be honest. No, that's really good. Honestly. So Jared describes the food that he likes. He wants to be punched in the face with flavor. I do. Does it have some flavor? It does. It's amazing that that's... Is it coming from the mushrooms? Is it coming from... It's gotta be. It, potatoes, they have a little bit of flavor, but that, you have to spice it up when you make your mash, your puree or whatever. You gotta throw something else in there. 
to help that flavor come out. But uh, all you did here was just pepper and salt. So it's got to be coming from the mushroom. I think that's a delicious soup. All right, everybody. If you want to see more of uh, two guys cooking in the woods, let me know. If you want to see Jerry back, or Jerry back, um, put it in the comments. We're actually thinking about doing a couple more of these because we both like to cook. I like to. Yeah. So I, I like to. I think we're going to. I think so. I think we're going to do a couple more videos just like this in different locations, cooking different food. We might even call it Two Guys Cooking in the Woods. Or not in the woods. Or on the beach. All right, everybody. Like, subscribe, share. See you on the next one. Thank you, Jerry.